Hey, what's up guys? This is Greg from ASUS and we're at Computex 2017 here at the ASUS ROG booth. So the first motherboard we're gonna take a look at here is the Prime X299 Deluxe. Now, some of the differences you'll find in this board compared to the X99 counterpart is the first thing is it's got built-in Wi-Fi, it's 802.11ad. So that's up to 4.6 gigabits per second, which is I think three times faster than 802.11ac. Don't quote me on that, but it's really fast. And while we're on the back panel here, we've also got dual gigabit ethernet, there's four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports and four USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one of which is a USB Type-C connection. Now you also get Thunderbolt right out of the box with this. It comes as a PCI card, so you can plug that right into your PCI slot and use Thunderbolt. Now some of the other features, speaking of the PCI slots, is uh, we use the safe slot technology. We've got four uh, PCIe X16 slots, um, and three of which use the safe slot technology. So that's a reinforced PCIe slot uh, for those really heavy graphics cards. Now let's talk about the storage. It's got dual M.2, one behind this, uh, heat sink here and one vertically mounted up here, but also has U.2 and SATA, so there's a lot of options for you storage aficionados out there. So as I mentioned before, the M.2 slot down here actually has a functional heat sink. So to remove the heat sink with these three screws, you can mount the M.2, and this actually actively cools the M.2. So I don't know if you guys know this, but M.2 drives, they can throttle back and you'll lose speed as they get hot. And also on the other M.2 slot here, it's vertically mounted. So when you put the M.2 in there, it comes straight out of the board like that, kind of sticks out like the memory does, but what that does is it gets it into free air, so there's a lot of airflow around it to keep it nice and cool. A lot of other motherboards, they'll put an M.2 slot right above the graphics card here, uh, which is kind of a recipe for throttling. Now what we've got in this area is an OLED display that we call Live Dash, and what that does, it gives you uh, status updates for your uh, CPU temperature, voltage, you can even put a custom logo on there if you want. And we've also integrated Aura Sync into this motherboard. So on the side here, we've got a lighting strip here, but also here is a lighting strip. And these are addressable. So what that means is each individual LED can be lit a different color. So as of right now, you can only do the preset LED lighting functions in Aura Sync. But with the uh, Aura Sync SDK opening up, a lot of people are going to create their own custom uh, profiles for that. So that's really cool. There are also two LED headers, uh, like we've had on our past motherboards. Uh, the top one is kind of a normal LED header, but what's new on this board is on the bottom is it has a addressable LED header. So just like this LED strip here, you can plug in addressable LED strips so you can have individual LEDs be different colors. So you can do some really crazy animations like wave patterns or whatever you can come up with with the AuraSync SDK. Now the next board I want to talk about is from our Tough series. This is the Tough X299 Mark I. Now one thing to know about the Tough series is it's built for 24-7 reliability. It's built using server grade components and also has one of the longest warranties out of any of our motherboards at five years. So it's really built to last. So if you're going to be building a workstation or just like a hardcore gaming rig that you want to last five years, this is the board for it. So some of the features you'll be familiar with on our Tough boards is the thermal armor here. So not only does it look good and protects the board, but it also helps with airflow. So it's kind of like a ducted fan. There's a fan here and it pulls in air from underneath that helps cool the motherboard and the M.2 right here. One of the other features that's an exclusive for the Tough Mark II board is a thing we call Tough Detective. And that's a USB dongle that you can put in the back here with Bluetooth. And that can connect to your phone and you have an app where you can monitor all the system settings, the uh, temperatures, the uh, voltages, and you can also you know, turn the system on and off using your phone. So a really cool feature of the Tough board. Now a new addition to the Tough family is something we call the VGA holder. And what does it do? Well, it holds the VGA. A lot of you guys have been asking for something like this, especially when you get those matrix boards or like the Poseidon, these big heavy uh, graphics cards. They, you can see a little bit of sag, even with the safe slot uh, technology that we have on our uh, motherboards. But you can see it here in use, and it just bolts to the PCI slot beneath your graphics card. So it helps support the graphics card so you get no sag. So that's a really cool feature. Now the next board I want to take a look at is the ROG Strix X299E Gaming. Now the Strix series has been one of my favorite new series of motherboards we've been creating and now it's officially part of the ROG family, as you can see by the RGB LED lighting right here. All the Strix boards have this monochromatic design, so they're made to be used with RGB lighting, so you can add your own flair to it. Now, some of the features of the X299E Gaming, we've got built-in 802.11ac Wi-Fi, which is super useful. We also have dual M.2, so there's an M.2 on the bottom here uh, that's behind this heatsink, and this is a functional heatsink for the M.2, just like we were talking about in the other board. So that helps keep your M.2 nice and cool, 
um, and functioning at its max speed. And there's also the, another M.2 up here that's vertical. And again, having that vertical mounting point helps to keep a lot of airflow around the M.2 and keep it nice and cool. It's also got a USB 3.1 front header, which uh, a lot of the new cases are coming with that. So that's a really cool feature to have. But now let's talk about the RGB lighting. There's two lighting zones built into the motherboard. On the top here, this is actually RGB addressable. So you can see that it's not just one color cycling, it's a rainbow of colors cycling through. So that's really cool. And then this part right here, this is almost like an, the infinity mirror that we have on the uh, new Poseidon uh, GTX 1080 Ti. We've got a custom system here with, uh, with the Strix board and dual Poseidons, it looks incredible. So you guys gotta get a shot of that. Now this board also has a lot of the other standard features in our high-end boards. We've got the uh, safe slot technology PCIe slots. They're reinforced. Um, there's three PCIe X16 slots. We've also got the Supreme FX audio card. So fantastic audio quality for all your games. And for those of you who like to build custom systems with all sorts of RGB and whatnot, there's actually three RGB headers on this. So this one is just RGB'd out. It sky's the limit as far as RGB lighting in your next system with this thing. Now the last motherboard I want to take a look at here is the ROG Rampage 6 Extreme. And this is certainly an extreme motherboard. If we take a look at the back, this has 802.11ad Wi-Fi, kind of like the Prime Deluxe, so up to 4.6 gigabit per second. It also has built-in 10G gigabit ethernet, which is really cool. Now obviously one of the first things you notice when you're looking at this board is the lighting and the translucent heat shield here, which is really slick. So not only does it help keep the system cool, but also this has addressable RGB LED strip in here um, that can light, you can see how it's just going through the rainbow. It's not just cycling through colors, it's going through the rainbow. So it's got addressable LEDs, which is really nice. Um, and same thing up here with the translucent look. So it actually has three lighting zones. Now another feature that's only found on this board and the Apex overclocking board is the dim dot two slot. So there's almost like an extra dim slot here that this uh, PCB goes in. So it's a really cool way to mount M.2s and to keep them up and away from the hot components of the system in an open airflow so they stay nice and cool. Now just like the Prime X299 Deluxe, this has U.2, M.2, and SATA, so all of your drive solutions are covered. Now one thing that's different about the Rampage 6 Extreme than some of our other boards, it actually comes with a lot of accessories. Uh, it comes with a fan expansion uh, tool where we can add more fans to your motherboard, and there are, they're all still controllable, just like the regular fan headers with the UEFI, which is really cool. So another thing you get with the ROG Rampage 6 Extreme is a VGA holder. So it's a uh, support bracket to help support those heavier graphics cards that I know a lot of you guys have been asking for. So really cool feature. So thank you guys for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to Newegg Studios. I'm sure they'll really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.